Hey, what's going on? This is Steven Seidel with We Love Soaps. We are down here on the set of General Hospital, the longest running show in ABC history. That's pretty crazy. So stay tuned. We're going to have a lot of great interviews coming up next, and uh, we look forward to it. See you in a second. Hey, we're here at General Hospital. We're here with Nancy Lee. She plays Alexis Davis and her daughter, Lexi Ainsworth Christina. Uh, so I'm going to ask a couple questions. So basically, you started out in Santa Barbara, the mm -hmm. show a while back. And for you as these different characters, what, what part of you do you bring uh, towards the character of Alexis? Uh, it just, you know, sometimes I think when you do a soap for a long time, it, you start to blend from your personality into the character they're writing. So I think it sometimes gets intertwined. Um, I bring to this as I bring to any part that I would play, and that's you You have to act truthfully in an imaginary circumstance, and they present the circumstance, and I just try to act truthfully in it. That's, that's Sanford Meisner right there for yeah, anyone who knows. Yeah, she's that, a, was she's that was her teacher, so she studied with him. But uh, speaking of the acting, we have some heavy storylines. Um, you're in an abusive relationship. How much have you uh, researched uh, into these things and these roles? I don't know that you've experienced that, so you need to live imaginary. Right. Fortunately, I've never been in an abusive relationship, but um, I did visit a YWCA, and I didn't get to meet with the women, but because I had to sign like a confidentiality form and everything, but um, I did get to see where they live and um, get a tour of the the shelter, and also they gave me a pamphlet of what they would give um, one of the women going into these shelters, and so I've kind of I've read from that you know, why this happens, why they stay in these relationships, all these questions. It's very confusing um, subject since I've, it's very confusing. And so that really helps. Good for you. Oh, I think it's interesting. I mean, I, because I, I, I am a mother and my daughter just turned 12 and, um, you know, these things, these conversations are starting to come up and things that you need to talk about. And it's occurred to me from doing this storyline, I, I haven't really thought about this because I thought I'm not, I, I came from, I have no experience with abuse other than any of the volunteer work I've done. And by it bringing it to my attention, I've checked it out and I've, I've spoken to a lot of different organizations and it's a lot more prevalent than we think. And, and I think that it, it is a topic of conversation uh, considering the onslaught of violence that's in our media and our culture, that um, that it's a conversation parents need to have with their kids. Wonderful. And what has been the fans' reaction? Have you received any fan letters or anyone that has written you, you know, embracing your performance? Or what's been the reaction from the fans? Um, they've shared a lot of their stories um, with teen abuse, and um, not just teens, but, you know, people of all ages on Twitter and even fan mail and it's shocking how many people have been in these types of relationships. And you mentioned Twitter. How did you get involved in Twitter? Oh, my God. I'm an addict. <laughs> I, I, or I just, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I'm technically t challenged. I'm the last person. You know, I, I, if, I'd still have a rotary phone if they still made them. I, I don't. It's hard for me to figure new things out. But this Twitter thing I think is fantastic. I've met such interesting people. And, you know, the fact that it's 140 characters, <clears throat> you need to be concise and clever within those. I, I'm not the Twitterer that tells you where I'm going. You know, I'm going to the bathroom. Eating lunch here at General Hospital. Nobody cares. I think by, about if I have something to say that might be interesting to somebody. And I've met so many interesting people. There's so many clever people out there. Wonderful. And you mentioned 140 characters. Can you describe uh, your parents on the show in five characters or less? Oh, my gosh. Um, oh let's see, my, my mom is, um, well, Christina thinks her mom is controlling, and, um, And what about dad? Mm, she thinks that her dad is a monster. Pretty controlling much. and monster, that's quite a, that's quite a family to, yeah. to be raised in. Therapy, instantly. Yeah, she has a lot of issues. <laughs> she has issues. And I know for you, uh, you're very active in, uh, you're liberal and you speak highly about a lot of different issues. <laughs> Even on my Twitter. Yeah, uh, no, no, I just know because we're a liberal station. We love soaps. Good. We're very diverse, you know, very gay, good. lesbian good, rights, all good. these things. Good, good, good. good. So what, do you feel that that's a responsibility for people, you know, growing up? Was that, were you able to voice your opinion, you know, at a younger age? Yes, my parents were precinct captains for Republican politicians. Um, and as soon as that became completely um, 
imperceivable. They became Democrats. <laughs> okay, and another quick question along the political. If you were a president, what would be the first thing that you would do? Put in the public option back right now and tell the Republicans to, to take a timeout and uh, get the health care bill passed. Get the health care bill passed. And one uh, question for you. Where do you foresee yourself in five, ten years down the road, uh, whether it be the character Christina or you, Lexi, as the actress? Um, let's see. For me, as Lexi, the actress, um, I'd like to do some movies. Movies. Steven Spielberg, watch out out there. <laughs> the next Avatar, Avatar 2, perhaps. Ooh. Ooh, I wanna, yes, I want to be an Avatar. Okay, well, we're, we need to bring these two into Avatar. So thank you so much for allowing us to come down to uh, – Poor Charles, and the best of luck with everything on General Hospital. And it's going to be the us, come join the conversation on Twitter. Join the conversation on Twitter. What's the Twitter name? Very uh, Nancy Lee Gron. But we have very liberal conversations. In fact, you have to you you know you have to wear a lot of armor if you're not. We love soaps on Twitter. Do we have a Twitter following or a way to keep in touch with you for uh, the fans? Yes, She's Twitter underscore Lexi Ainsworth. Lexi Ainsworth. So everyone she's, get up. She's more controlled. <laughs> she's more controlled, like like her mother. Uh, in the uh, general hospital, oh, that's but controlling. that's controlling. And let's hope that she's not a monster like her dad, Maurice. But uh, uh, well, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Stay tuned. Hey, what's going on? This is Stephen. We're here with Maurice Bernard, uh, Sunny from General Hospital. How are you holding up tonight? I'm holding up really well, actually. Thank you for asking. Okay, great. So, quick question: uh, Do you think Sunny can ever get? himself out of the mob is there life after the mob well, he's tried it and it didn't quite work out that well so it's a very difficult thing to do um, I think it's all he knows but I think he can improve his life a little more and I know that you grew up uh, the character Sonny grew up in an abusive relationship and now your daughter is involved in a, an abusive relationship how do you feel about that well, that's the next story coming up, and it's actually, like I've said it all day, it's one of the great, uh, uh, acting-wise, it was incredible, and it was intense, and it was tough, and the fact that Sonny was abused, and the, the fact that Sonny saw his mother abused, uh, to see his daughter in that state just flips him over. And from an acting standpoint, uh, I read somewhere, I think, that Al Pacino is, uh, is you know, an inspiration for your performances. How do, how are you able to you know take some of these inspiration and these people and their work and channel that into the character of Sonny? What are you talking about? You're talking. You're saying I'm Al Pacino. Hey, take it easy. <laughs> but um, and and for you as a person, I know that you cook a little bit and uh, uh, no. right. No, Sonny cooks, but do oh, you cook? Do you cook as? A My wife does all the cooking. She's a great cook. I don't I don't know how to cook. It's maybe a, a steak. I cook you a good steak. Okay, yeah, maybe we'll take them up on that, a T-bone or something like that, a New York strip steak, even though we're out here in L.A. But um, And then going forward with, with just a few other little things, uh, as far as your, you've been nominated for, I think, uh, five mm -hmm. nominations. And what makes this year different uh, in comparison in 09 versus your previous performances? What, what makes it, you know, a little bit more enthusiastic? Well, I think, uh, I don't know if, it, there's nothing, I mean, I've, I think I've done maybe better than, last year although this year for next year would be um but i do think that uh I, I was very proud of one day and that was the when sunny went after claudia at the party i think uh that's a good that's i'm very proud of that day and for speaking to that instance uh where, when you get ready to prepare for these roles uh every day it's got to be very emotionally challenging and and script and so what kind of a place where do you go from an artist standpoint where do you take your inspiration from how do you prepare for these on, on such a rigorous schedule well i'm i'm a you know I, I personalize everything so whatever i do i take from my real life or what's happened in my life in the past so it's very per it's always very personal to me so it's very personal. So speaking on a personal level, um, our editor, uh, he he likes animals. He has an African gray bird. I know that you used to have a gray. Do you still have? Yeah. Do you still have that? Dude, that bird just bit. See that bite right there? There it is. Yeah, he just bit me because I had because I kind of haven't seen him in a while because he bit me before. So I thought that you know I'm just gonna let him go. I'm not let him go, but leave him in the cage. Have my daughter take care of him for a while because he bit me real hard. And so then I came back last week, put, went in there, yeah, 
Took a, took a piece out of your hand. So to close it right here, speaking of biting, if you had to bite one woman on the show of General Hospital, who would you bite? Jason. Jasona. You ever heard of Jasona? Uh, I haven't heard of Jasona. What describe her in two words? She's got she's got blonde hair, real pretty blue eyes, a kind of piercing blue eyes, and she's kind of she's kind of stocky. So stay tuned for the uh, upcoming season here, and uh, in a, in a couple of months, you guys are going to be the longest running soap opera on TV. That's got to feel pretty good, right? Wow. I mean, this this uh, soap opera has been going as long as I my I was born on the day this soap. The year the soap started, so it's forty-seven years. Oh wow! Well, you don't look a day over twenty-two, so you know. And you know, see, look at that. That's all you need to do is smile, and he wins the ladies over. Stay tuned. Watch out for Sunny. All you ladies out there, be careful. We love soaps. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. See, see you guys. Bye. <laughs>